Hello everybody and welcome to a new series, Euro Truck Simulator. Yeah, yeah, I know, the game's not exactly new, and I've played it before a little bit, but I figured this would be a neat little thing to do, get some over-the-road experience, visit new countries, because I haven't really been outside the United States, and I know this isn't an accurate representation of other countries, but it should be still pretty cool. So hopefully you guys join me for the ride. Ooh. Nice. 3,000 euros. Don't mind if I do. And let's get going. So one of the things I'm kind of planning to do besides explore, screw up, probably crash a lot. Let's see here. Start her up. I figured one of the other things that we do is, uh, you know, have a little conversation about the world. More importantly, my past because I have some crazy stories from when I was a kid growing up and yeah, maybe some other people can either relate to them or I don't know we'll see of course it, yeah that's what I thought I thought it was turning red all right but yeah figure from time to time we'll tell a story here and there have these uh, over-the-road experiences Come on, you gonna turn green? Come on, turn green. Come on, green. Green. It's green! But yeah. I kind of completed the tutorial on my own just so I could kind of set up my controls to make sure my, uh, my steering worked properly, turned fast enough. Whoa, we need to get over. Need to get over. All right, but yeah, no, no, no. I want to be able to see the light, and it turns green as soon as I get up there. Yeah, great! Wow, look at this beautiful landscape. All right, I took that one way too wide for no reason. Haha, <laughs> funness. So, for the life of me, like, sitting down knowing that I wanted to actually, you know, tell some stories, and we've got mail. We can't check it. We're driving. We cannot check mail while we're driving. Don't check your phone, people. All right. But sitting down and knowing that I wanted to tell, you know, stories about my childhood and all the little funness growing up in the rural countryside... I could not for the life of me think of any of the stories. I like I know I have all kinds of cool stories and stuff. Like uh the craziness about uh how because I live way out in the country, I actually live not too far away from some railroad tracks. And uh the only way that any of the people that I grew up with in town cuz I went to school uh, what 10 miles away in town the only way that uh, any of them could come out and hang because none of our parents would drive us anywhere meant that uh, we would uh, hop on trains and just like you know randomly take a train ride not exactly the most legal thing to do I don't recommend doing it either it's dangerous and more importantly nowadays they have cameras and things to stop you from doing these things but at the time I mean that was what we did to get around. There was no other way uh, for us unless we were wanted to walk 10 miles. Even bike ride at that point in time was nearly impossible for uh, the area that I live in. So we'd just hop a train. <laughs> Which is its own set of experiences because you're lying in the bushes waiting for the train to come but at the same time you're trying to make sure that you don't get seen by the people that are on the train because they have uh, guards and things that are supposed to stop people from doing these things yeah like uh, I remember actually one time one of, one of my friends in town well, this was when I was a little bit older you know probably 16 
15, something like that. Uh, he hopped a train to come out and <laughs> visit and hang, and he ended up spending like three days out with us. He just brought a tent with, and we just camped out in the countryside because there was, well, <laughs> there was no way for him to get back town. And then the next train heading to town wasn't going to come for a couple days, and uh, at that point, uh, it was a weekend, so it's not like we had to show up for school or anything like that. Not necessarily that we always went to school at that point in time either. Kids, don't skip school. It's important. But, <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he hopped a train, and we ended up just grabbing some tents and going out into the countryside. Um some more public land and uh well we went uh, let's see we brought some bows and some bb guns so that we could go hunting uh like i said way out in the middle of the country middle of nowhere i'm pretty sure i don't even know if our parents knew where we were at that point in time whoa stay in our lane but uh yeah, we went uh, hunting. We basically lived off the land for that weekend, which is insane. We brought little hatchets and stuff so that we could chop down trees, and uh, we started campfires uh, just to keep, you know, get some food going, some cooking some food. We didn't have pots or pans or anything, so everything was, like, chopped up and skewered. and <laughs> Grass for flavor, folks. Grass for flavor. Not recommending it. <laughs> No pepper, no salt, no nothing else. It was just what we could what we could get, literally what we could hunt. It was insane. And craziness. I mean this was some of the bizarreness that was the life my life as a kid. Like I mean that's just one thing. We went hey 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 hey, but watch the brakes, buddy. Oh man. I remember uh, just the, nut, the nuttiness of doing that, like just randomly. It would just randomly happen. We wouldn't plan it, it would just happen. Uh, we took a, and borrowed <laughs> uh, one of the canoes from one of the families around us to go out uh, canoeing one year. We just randomly loaded up and we had a couple old bicycle wheels. Or I had a couple old bicycle wheels, and I've been planning. I had like planned this for like a week that we were gonna do this, and uh, so we built a wood platform and used the two bicycle wheels as wheels on the platform. Don't, dude, let me in. I have a blinker light on. Oh jeez, he was trying to run right past me. He was trying to skip it. But, uh, so I built this wood platform and we put these, uh, long, or I put these long steel bars on the front of them, uh, attached to the platform and then attached to the wheels so that, uh, we could pull it just like a two-wheeled cart kind of thing. And then we threw the canoe on top of that so that we had a way of transporting it instead of, like, three dummies carrying a canoe, like, a mile to the lake. And we carried the canoe, or we put the canoe on the the makeshift dolly, I guess you could call it, uh, makeshift uh, transportation device. And the whole point of it was that we were going to pull it behind a bike. It was going to be uh, mounted to the bike, but it ended up that the canoe was too long and uh, we couldn't get it behind a bike. So while the rest of the people rode down there, some poor sap, <coughs> me, ended up having to walk all the way down with the canoe attached to this makeshift system oops 70 there we go this makeshift system um all the way down because it was my brilliant idea to to carry the canoe apparently it was my brilliant idea to go canoeing even though i'm pretty sure it was not my idea and uh we got all the way down there and we had to make our own oars because <laughs> we didn't have any oars so we ended up Again, with uh, our trusty Boy Scout knives and our hatchets, uh, sitting there chopping trees and uh, 
trying to split logs so that we could make paddles and grabbing sticks and ah uh, we spent all day making the paddles just to basically go canoeing for like maybe five minutes tops in a little river like our whole plan was we were gonna go we we're gonna grab the canoe we we're gonna go out fishing you know we we're gonna bring home some fish and have some some fun like that and no, we spent the whole entire time making paddles and my dumbass walking all the way down with this makeshift uh, dolly system. Uh, yeah, just to end up bringing it all the way back home after like literally putting it in the water going, okay, this sucks and pulling it back out. Oh, talk about insanity. And that's not even the worst of it. Like, I thought the dolly thing was such a good idea that instead of, you know, borrowing the uh, canoe again, we decided the next time we were going to build our own raft. Except for the only materials we had available were hardwood. For those of you that don't know your woods out there, hardwood does not float. No, not at all. It, it, I mean, it floats because it's logs, but it tends to float lower in the water or under, just under the surface of water versus softwood, which actually floats above the water. So we thought we were going to be all slick and uh, dry, and uh, no, it didn't, uh, didn't turn out that way. We even had like a pulley on it, a winch on it that we tied to a very heavy... Um, I don't remember where we got it. It was a weight on a string, a concrete weight with a rebar, a piece of rebar through it. I think we found it somewhere. Like out in the countryside, randomly found it. And we decided that it was ours, so we took it. <laughs> and we were gonna make it, we're gonna use that weight as a, as a piece to tie our boat down, tie our raft down so that it wouldn't float away. Where the hell did that come from? I don't even remember. Like, I know we randomly found it. Nobody made it. Oh, craziness, though. Yeah, but that whole thing was just a massive bust because the raft didn't float. Like, without people on it, it's, it was just below the water. With people on it, you could pretty much stand up and it would just be just slightly or and most of your body would be underneath water and then we were using some it was a wench it was a hand crank wench off of like uh like a, a camping trailer or uh, like a pop-up trailer like you crank it and it would pull the trailer up like it pull the roof up so that you could have I don't know I'm gonna need to adjust the steering wheel it doesn't turn fast enough for me I had that thing cranked all the way over and it didn't adjust yeah but that was just a bust too it was all rusted and failing we had to make a makeshift handle for it and the handle snapped off. So then we had this concrete weight tied to a string that we ended up having to manually pull up. It was pretty bad. Just straighten out a little. Oh, no, oh, wrong way. I meant straighten out. Straighten out. Sorry, uh, I stopped in the story because I'm concentrating. And now I cut it too far, so I gotta pull forward a little bit and straighten out. There we go. But, uh, yeah, that was, uh. That was a summer. The sad thing is, this all happened within a matter of a couple weeks. I 
like you'd expect this to be like, oh yeah, this is a oh, this is a long, long drawn out journey that we we decided to go on over a month or two. No, no, no. This is all. Uh... Oh, that's right. Yeah, because that was uh, just about time summer vacation happened. Oh man, I'll let the rear end slide out. Oh, straighten, straighten, straighten. But uh, yeah, that's right. It's, that's why he came out. Uh, he had the train and come out and spent spent like a week. He just told his parents he was leaving. <laughs> that was back when you could get away with that. <laughs> now every parent is like watching every kid like a hawk. Oh my god, watch out for you know all the criminals and the pedophiles. Oh my god, yeah, heaven forbid you actually teach them how to defend themselves or, you know. No, 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 we're just going to try to protect them as best we can without giving them any knowledge on how to actually defend themselves. Because that's smart. Let's not make them into better people. More well-rounded. not saying that I'm, I was the most well-adjusted person on the planet growing up, but... Hey, hey we did it! Alright! Ugh... Oh. Not bad. But, well, I hope you guys enjoyed. We are going to leave it here. This is going to be the end for the first series. Let me know if you guys like this. Remember, thumbs up. If you like it, let me know. I'm not afraid of the thumbs down button. Don't be hesitate. I prefer you guys like it, but. And I hope to come up uh, or remember more stories from my childhood. And, you know, maybe we'll just drive sometimes i don't know talk about life in general until next time guys i will see you in another world bye